Praise be Jesus Christ, the province of Quebec up here in Canada just announced new restrictions out of fear of the Omicron variant. It says in a National Post article, churches and other faith venues will be forced to operate at half capacity and worshippers will be required to show proof of vaccination to enter. Now, this obviously is a very controversial decision. It has to be said that our Catholic churches are extremely safe. Uh, to my knowledge, there has been really pretty much no community transmission of the virus at our liturgies. And the reason for this is obvious. We are doing things extremely carefully in our Catholic churches. And we have been, and gladly, we've been working with our health authorities to make sure we're doing things safely. But the thing is, is we as Catholics, there's a basic principle we follow, and that's we make our sacraments available to those who, who need to receive the sacraments. Like Jesus, the, the Lord Jesus said, I will not turn away anyone who comes to me. And so if someone needs to receive the sacraments, we don't turn them away. Even if they're sick, the Lord Jesus commanded us to go to the sick. We have many martyrs and saints who cared for the sick, even in, in uh, dangerous situations, because we believe in eternal life. Yes, health is extremely important, and that's why we're taking such great measures to keep people safe. But if someone needs to receive the sacraments, we must be obedient to our Lord Jesus. He commanded us to feed his sheep. That's a divine command. He commanded us to go to the sick, to the poor, and to minister to, to them. The other thing is we're living at a time of Eucharistic miracles. When so many Catholics are no longer believing in the Holy Eucharist, the Lord Jesus has been giving us astounding Eucharistic miracles and also Eucharistic saints like Blessed Carlo Acutis and my beloved Blessed Alexandrina da Costa, who was beatified by St. John Paul II in 2004. She lived for 13 years on the Holy Eucharist alone. No other food, no, no, not even water. And this was medically verified. And the Lord Jesus told her, I'm allowing you to live on the Holy Eucharist alone so that the world may see the power of the Holy Eucharist. And so again, for us as Catholics, it's very important that those who need to receive the sacraments are able to receive them. And so please pray. You know, pray for um, our government leaders. You know, we need to recognize that we need God. We can't, we can't do anything without God. And I long to see our nations once again putting God where he belongs first at the center. And so, I again, ask you to pray for the people of Quebec, especially, you know, we have, I know, healthy young people who've had um, COVID, they recovered, they have natural immunity, and they have some concerns about things, and they're not vaccinated, and they want to go to church and receive the sacraments, and they're healthy. They're not dangerous, and we're taking great precautions. And so, you know, we, we want to work with the health authorities, but we also want the health authorities to understand um, how much the sacraments mean to us, that they are more than essential. They give life, eternal life. Our Lord Jesus in John chapter 6 said, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. Viva Cristo Rey.